This is part 49 of AngularCRUD tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss impure pipes and their performance implications. In our previous two videos, we implemented a pure pipe to filter employee data. A pure pipe is only executed when a pure change to the input value is detected. So, what is a pure change? Well, if the input to a pipe is a value type and if that value changes, that's considered a pure change. Similarly, if the input to a pipe is a reference type and if the reference to that input changes, again that's considered a pure change. Now, if you look at this employee filter pipe, the input to this pipe is an employee array which is a reference type. And within our list employees component, when we click this button, change employee name, we're actually changing one of the employee names. Now, let's comment this line and uncomment these three lines of code. Notice the first line of code right here. It's creating a brand new array from the existing employees array using the object assign method. And then we're changing one of the employee names and then setting this new array as the source data for our employee filter pipe. So the important point to keep in mind is the reference variable that points to this new array is different from the reference variable that points to the original employees array. When the object reference changes, we know that's a pure change and on a pure change, our pure employee pipe is executed and filtering works as expected. Let's save these changes and give it a quick test. At the moment, on our list page, we've got three employees and their names are Mark, Mary and John. When we click this button, change employee name, we are changing the name of this employee from Mark to Jordan. While we are doing that, we are also changing the object reference variable of the array. So this new employee array, which is our source data now, has got a new reference variable. When the object reference changes, we know that's a pure change. On a pure change, our pure pipe, which is employee filter pipe is executed and the filtering should work as expected. So if we type letter J in this text box, at the moment we only have one employee whose name has got letter J. And when we click this button, we're changing the name of our first employee, Mark, to Jordan. So now we should have two employees with letter J, Jordan and John. And notice the filtering is working. Now let's try to change the employee name, Mark, to Jordan without changing the underlying array reference. So let's comment these three lines of code and uncomment this line of code. So this is not a pure change. What are the implications? Well, since our employee filter pipe is a pure pipe and a pure pipe is only executed on a pure change and this change that we are doing at the moment is not a pure change, so the pipe will not be executed and as a result, employee filtering is not going to work as expected. Let's take a look at this in action. Notice now when I type letter J, we see that one employee, John. When we click this button, change employee name, we know we are going to change the name of our first employee from Mark to Jordan. And if our filtering is working as expected, we should see Jordan as well in this filtered list, but that does not happen. I clicked the button, but we don't see Jordan here. When I remove this letter J, that's when I see Jordan. So at the moment, our employee filtering is broken. One way to fix this is by making our employee filter pipe an impure pipe, and that's easy to do. All we have to do is set this flag pure to false. Notice now when I type letter J, we see John, and when we click this button, we see Jordan as well. Our filtering is working as expected. That's because at the moment, we're using an impure pipe. You have to think very carefully when you make a pipe impure. This is because an impure pipe is processed on every change, even when the source data does not change. They run unnecessarily when not required. Let's prove this. Now, let's say for some reason, on this employee list page, we want to handle mouse move event. We know mouse move event is triggered every time we move the mouse. So within the list employees view component, let's handle the mouse move event. So on this development, let's include event binding. The event name is mouse move. And we want to execute this method on mouse move. 
We don't have this method yet, so let's go ahead and create that. So within our component class, let's include this method on mouse move. It's not going to do anything. We are just handling the mouse move event. That's it. Now in our employee filter pipe, let's create a private field. I'm going to name it counter and initialize it to zero. We're going to use this private field to keep track of how many times our employee filter pipe is executed. Now we know every time this pipe is executed, this transform method is called. So inside the transform method, let's increment the counter value and then log a message to the console. So the message is filter pipe executed count and to that let's append the count. Notice we have our list of employees. Now let's launch browser developer tools. Notice within the console window we already see that the filter pipe is executed four times and notice what happens as I move the mouse around. Every time we move the mouse look at what happens to the filter pipe executed count. It just increases so for every mouse move our pipe is executed. So this is the problem with an impure pipe. They are processed on every change even when the source data does not change. They run unnecessarily when not required. This is the reason Angular team recommends not to use pipes to filter and sort data. Angular recommends to move the filtering and sorting logic into the component itself. We will discuss how to implement filtering in a component in our next video. So here is the summary. Pure pipes are fast but filtering and sorting may not work as expected if the source data is updated without a change to the object reference. Using an impure pipe to filter and sort data is not recommended because it is processed on every change even when the source data does not change. So the recommended approach is to move the filtering and sorting code to the component itself so you have better control on when that code should and shouldn't execute. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.